What is going on, guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle, and today we have yet another collection video for you all. I know how much you love those collection videos, so going to be going ahead and doing my runs with you guys today. Uh, going and packing everything up, as you can see here. All kinds of different candy and then toys you'll see in a second. But um, I do want to mention, thank you all so, so much for finally getting me to that 1,000 subscriber mark. It means so much to me. Uh, very exciting to finally hit that milestone. It's been quite a while. Definitely been very excited to finally hit it. And here it is. And to thank you all, I am going to be giving away a single head gumball machine so stay tuned till the end of the video. Um, now I'm not going to be doing the giveaway in this video. Um, however, in the next video I make, I will be telling you all how to enter. Anyway, here we are at the first location. This is a car wash and it's been sitting for about two months here. And go ahead and dump that out because I have the coin banks here and it ended up being $34 and there is no commission. Um, this one is all candy, no toys or anything like that. So uh, definitely not a terrible location, but definitely not an amazing location either. Either way, I'm happy with it. Uh, 34 bucks for you know just a, a quick few minutes of work is definitely not bad. So here we are at the famous pizza shop if you've watched my previous videos i'm sure you've seen collections of this spot before uh, this is a local pizza place with one of my shooting hoops gumball machines uh, this one is always doing very very well especially considering it's just gumball so definitely very high profit margin on the gumballs as you all should know uh, now, one thing to keep in mind is I do pay a commission here, but totally okay with that considering how well it does and how low my food cost is uh, because it is just gumballs like I said. So go ahead and open her up, and there it is. Look at all those quarters. This spot never seems to disappoint. Uh, now, this collection was just over, or sorry, just under one month. But altogether, we went ahead and collected $61, and that was after commission, and like I said, that was just under one month. So there it is, all set up, and now I go ahead and put the machine back together and make sure it's looking good, clean, because on a good spot like this, you definitely want to make sure your machines are looking good and working totally fine. So very very glad to have this spot for sure see all those gumballs there get it all locked up and good to go alrighty so here we are at the trampoline park uh, this is another one of my very good locations as I'm sure you all know by now uh, has two of these uh, four-way machines uh, the, they're Venn designs if you're curious um, I've had some questions about, you know, do I recommend them? Are they good machines? Uh, how do you feel about the Venda Design machines? And I think they're about middle of the road. Um, they're not bad machines, but they're also not great machines. I would say they're definitely right there in the middle. There are a few plastic parts in it, which I am definitely not a big fan of. But overall, they've been holding up pretty good for me. I've only had, I believe, one coin mechanism break on these machines since I've had the route. Uh, and that was because some guy decided to put a piece of paper in the coin mechanism and break it. But I'll tell you all a little bit more about that at the end of the video. So how I do this location is I break down. I have two of these four-way machines, like I said. So between the two of those, I got... $50 after commission and that is just under a month between the two of them. Uh, now another thing I'm going to be doing here I believe next time I come to service this location is there is a lot of chocolate in these machines which is fine because it does well enough but I definitely want to give more selection uh, because I have all my chocolate products here and only Chewy Spree uh, for the four-way machines as far as uh, gummy or chewy candy so definitely going to eventually be switching uh, some of them out I think I'll do uh, one four-way with 
all of the chewy gummy candy and one with all the chocolate or maybe I'll put you know half and half but definitely need some more variety at this spot for sure as far as the candy goes because I have two machines here anyway so I might as well make sure that I can give all the different products I possibly can. So go ahead and get that all set up and then about to move on to my vending rack. So here we are, this uh, first spot here is the gumballs. Go ahead and top them off just a little bit. Now I did come by earlier in the month uh, without collecting. I just kind of topped off a few things because I ran out of gumballs last time I was here. So uh, pretty full already, but go ahead and top it off anyway. And you can see it for your own eyes. That is a very good amount of quarters there. Very happy with how many quarters are in that gumball spot. Definitely a very popular one there move on to the bouncy balls now eventually I'm going to be upgrading the bouncy balls to a 50 cent coin mech but for right now they are just 25 cents and they did pretty decent uh, probably could have done a little bit better if I had them at the 50 cents mark but not bad nonetheless now next up is definitely the worst seller in the rack which is the rings um, definitely not too bad though uh, they definitely sell Profit margin's pretty decent, so definitely going to at least keep them in here. Uh, but you can see it still did pretty well for one month. Definitely not going to be complaining about that. Uh, and then I also did order more, so switched those out for uh, the different type of ring. Uh, they just didn't have the ones that were originally with the machine when I bought it. So just went ahead and switched those out. So have the new rings there. Fill that up, top it off, make sure everything looks good. All right, now on to the top toys. Now, there was only a few of the jumbo erasers left, and those are from when I purchased the machine. But go ahead, and I end up just throwing the rest of them away because, you know, there's only a few left, so it's really not that big of a deal. But they did a pretty well, uh, definitely not bad but I think they can definitely do better and I do switch them out for the sticky hands I think they will do very well there now next up is the yo-yo balls now half of this was from the other toys that I had in here previously but altogether the rack made 113.25 in just over a month so a little bit less than it did last time but still not bad now this spot here is from a towing shop uh, or tow truck place and it had 22 bucks in just about a month now the tow truck place did have a little bit of an issue with one of the coin mechanisms one of the guys there decided to st stuff a bunch of folded up paper into the coin mechanism and continue to twist it until it broke uh, so it would give out free spins uh, and then the owner of the place let me was nice enough to let me know and I fixed that and then one of the other guys that was there was nice enough to give me two bucks for the fact that he used it uh, a few times to get some free M&Ms uh, but if it happens again I'm going to end up taking it out but for now I'm going to give them one more shot and if they fail then too bad for them but here I am going ahead and rolling everything up in the process there's my kitty there he's a good cat <laughs> but anyway rolling everything up and getting everything ready to go to the bank now here everything is rolled up I have the few dollars there a couple bicentennial quarters I found three dollars a stack of five dollars and then these are rows of a hundred so about a little over three hundred dollars about three hundred and eleven dollars I believe it was so definitely pretty happy with that collection altogether it was only like I believe four or five spots so definitely very very good so as promised, I've been hyping it up for a little while now. I've been saying that I'm going to be going ahead and giving away a single head gumball machine. And I'm going to be doing so uh, in the next video. I'm going to let you all know how to enter the giveaway. Uh, and then one lucky person will be winning a single head gumball machine from me. Uh, I will ship it directly to your door. Uh, so definitely stay tuned next video to find out exactly what you need to do to be entered in the giveaway and if you guys enjoyed this video 
please make sure to go ahead and hit that like button uh, it really does help me out a lot and it really only takes like two seconds to hit it not even just hit that little button there we go really do appreciate it uh, and then also please subscribe if you have not done so already um, already have my eyes on that 10,000 subscriber mark and I will catch you all in the next one